these people who are incredibly sensitive also tend to be more predisposed to having autoimmune or chronic illness conditions. We are canaries in a coal mine. If we're labeled with a chronic illness or an autoimmunity, and then we're worried about that every day, that means we're in fight or flight every moment of every day. The conventional medicine approach often is about like something being broken and then fixing it. When we think about ourselves as broken, um, that's kind of an entire mindset and a whole approach to medicine that isn't very healing at all. It's very fear-based. It's very much about avoiding an outcome or avoiding a disease. And when you live from fear and you're constantly like looking around being like, okay, did this, did this symptom come up today? And you're tracking stuff like that, you're living in fight or flight. And that puts your nervous system into a sympathetic response. And that is in no way an environment to heal. When you start to think of yourself as being this really um, supercharged, sensitive person, you realize, hey, I'm actually a canary and I'm living in a coal mine. And that's where my project, The Canary, came from. And The Canary is this very delicate, beautiful, lovely songbird. There's nothing wrong with a canary. It's not like, just because it's not an alligator or you know some other animal that there's something wrong with it, it's yeah. just a canary. It's meant to be a songbird. Um, but when it's taken into a coal mine and when the canary starts to get sick, it stops singing, it drops dead, nobody looks at the canary and says, wow, that bird's broken or it's not as strong as us. It's like it's, it's in an environment that is becoming toxic and it's the first to feel it. So when I think about people as canaries, the people that I work with, it's like, there's nothing wrong with you know you. There's nothing wrong with what you've been doing in your life. You just need to become attuned to what is around you, what you're surrounded by, um, and how that is impacting you, maybe before it impacts your partner or your sibling or your coworkers. And speak up about that. Speak up for yourself. Speak up to others, because what's detrimental to us canaries will at you know, a certain frequency or intensity become detrimental to everyone else, to all of life. Absolutely, you need to look at the big picture.